Oviedo High School and welcome to Roar TV. I'm Katie. And I'm Elizabeth. Today is Thursday, November 13th. As you've probably noticed, we aren't at our normal broadcast location and that's because we're here at Florida Polytechnic University, our state's newest and most innovative university. We'll find out more about that, but first let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Around this time of year, seniors are busy searching, planning, and deciding on their next step after high school graduation, college. Even juniors, like us, are starting to explore our options. There's definitely a lot of decisions to make, but we hope with this special broadcast we'll help you feel more prepared. Florida Polytechnic's opening year was this year, and they're already off to an amazing start. We met with some of the staff and administration to find out more about what this new university has to offer. Most of the time, students uh, and friends and family members, when they ask me about Florida Polytechnic and they've never heard about it before, I always say, have you seen that crazy building on I-4? And immediately people say, oh yeah, I know what that is. And then I tell them the story, you know, we're the 12th. Uh, State University, we're new. Located on the edge of Lakeland along Interstate 4, Florida Polytechnic University is our state's newest public university and focuses on preparing students for careers in advanced fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, also known as STEM. Spanish architect Santiago Caltrava designed the campus's first building. The original plan was for Polytechnic to be affiliated with the University of South Florida, but on April 20th, 2012, Polytechnic was established as an independent institution. If you're a student who's interested in science, technology, engineering, and math, uh, you certainly want to come to Florida Poly because we're 100% dedicated to those concentrations. Um, we also have a focus on hands-on learning. So we really want students to get into the laboratories, into some of our innovation labs, and get experience with the technology that they're going to use when they're out in the workforce. So you're not just sitting in class um, and getting theory, you're actually getting to apply what you're learning and work side by side with your professors. Our STEM focus really makes us different. Uh, other universities have programs in STEM, but we focus solely in STEM. Uh, our science, technology, engineering, mathematics programs uh, are cutting edge as well. So we reach out to industry to find out what they need uh, and then we designed our programs around that. All of my class sizes are under 25. I think the biggest one is 25. Most of them are actually about 18. So I'm not sitting in a big lecture hall the whole time. Just I'm just some number to them. All my professors know me by my name and we have good relationships that way. The, another big thing I guess is because this is a STEM school, Everything is the engineering, the innovation, and all the sciencey stuff. It's not a general education, which I find that's kind of cool because we actually have like the supercomputer, the 3D printers that we can actually have access to if you do the right preparation for it. We look for students who certainly have good grades. Um, STEM topics tend to be challenging, so you need to be up for that. Um, we also look for students who want to change the world who are innovators, um, who like to solve problems, who like to be collaborative, uh, who are creative, um, but also technically minded. If you're not interested in a STEM major, there's another common route a lot of OHS alumni take, Seminole State College and UCF. Let's go to Piper with the scoop on our local universities. Students choose to go to college all across the nation, but many choose to stay local at Seminole State or UCF. Let's find out what makes these colleges such a popular choice. Many students have this idea that going to a community college is its just for dumb people. Not I want to phrase it that way because that's the way we speak. We say it's people that go to community college aren't smart enough to get to a university. In my experience, I've gotten to all the universities that I applied to. And yeah, I didn't go to them because when you think about it, it's a lot more cheaper to get your GE courses done and over with. I mean, I'm taking the same classes as my other friends, biology, math, English, and we're going to be taking the same classes for the same two years. So why not save the money? It's really not for dumb people. It's really close, and I like that. I like staying close to my family, and they have better scholarships. I'm going into medical college, and I know that they, they like to see people in a four-year university mostly, so I decided just to go straight to UCF. And I like dorm life and college life and everything. Although these colleges may be close to home, they're still very different than high school. Teachers expect pretty much everything coming from you. 
the teachers don't tell you, you have a test on Wednesday. No, you're ready to post to Noah. If you forgot, then you failed the quiz. Oftentimes, AP classes are harder than college classes, <laughs> at least with the amount of homework that you have to do. Because, like, in AP classes, they expect you to do this homework in a certain amount of time. And yes, you still have homework in college, but it's more on your time, and it's what you need to do. College may seem like endless studying, but there's much more that goes on outside the classroom as well. There are different clubs, there's student government, which you can get involved, there's always activities every month at the in front of the library, there's free food, it's pretty much like every other college, there's intramural sports that you can play for the school. I know people that go to Seminole State and they still play sports for UCF, so it's all possible, you can find anything to do on campus. I am involved in Wesley, which is a church group there, but I actually work at a lab, so I'm usually out at Lake Nona, not on campus as much, but I hope to get more involved with more clubs later on. Even though college may be starting soon, there are many things you can still do before you graduate. I'd say apply early, because I know they do have rolling admi admissions, and just like be yourself like I know in, in applications like they pressure you to like see that like you have to choose a major but like you really don't have to choose a major right there just explore um, majors so there's so many things you can do here I would say before you graduate honestly have the most fun you can have because high school I think about it now and it's just like wow I wish I would have done so many other things in high school so Enjoy every single minute of it. You have no idea how fast senior year goes. Many opportunities lie ahead for our seniors, and many of these options are right down the road. For Roar TV, I'm Piper Garrick. Your defending 7A state championship boys basketball team kicks off their season at home next Wednesday against University High School. JV will play at 6 p.m. and Varsity plays at 7.30 p.m. Girls basketball play tonight at 7 p.m. at home against Geneva School. Come out and support your girls. The Athletic Boosters are hosting the Fall Carnival out on the practice field from November 20th through the 23rd. Single day unlimited ride wristbands are on sale now for $15, or you can get a four day wristband for $45. Save money by buying them now. Thanksgiving is only two weeks away, which means we are only two weeks and one day away from Christmas trees being sold on the practice field in the front of the school. Trees will be sold starting at $35 and wreaths starting at $20. All proceeds will go to the OHS Athletics Club. The Oviedo Police and Firefighter Basketball game will be on November 15th at 6.30 p.m. in the RWL Gym. Robotics Club will be meeting at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow in room 12009. Some people, however, prefer the long-distance college experience. One of our very own got to visit NYU in New York City. Let's go to Rachel Wong for more information. I'm standing in Central Park in the middle of Manhattan and I'm about to go on campus tour of New York University and speak with an admissions counselor there. So come along with me and find out more about this college located at the heart of a sleepless city filled with enjoyment, excitement and more. Founded in 1831, NYU is a large private research university with its main campus located in Lower Manhattan. Ranked among the best in the nation, NYU not only has excellent academics, but also unique opportunities due to its prime location. My main reason was location, obviously, because there's always stuff happening, and I just felt like oh, this, this is the land of opportunities. Like, I'm not going to get bored. I'm going to find something to do. I just thought that was better than you know being in a small liberal, liberal arts college somewhere deep in the countryside. NYU is awesome. I'm enjoying the atmosphere and uh, meeting people and, and getting to kind of learn the city is, is a lot of fun. As the first global network university, NYU also has campuses in Abu Dubai and Shanghai. There are students here from all 50 states and 133 foreign countries. My roommate's from Virginia, but my two sweet mates, one's Korean American, I'm, you know, pure Korean, and the other one's half Korean from New York, Westchester, so it's, everybody's from like other Places. The university offers renowned programs in law, business, engineering, film, theater, and much more. I'm in theater at Tisch. I'm in uh, the Meisner studio, there's several studios, so I'm in one of the six main acting studios. If you know exactly what you want to go into, um, it's definitely the place to be. The tuition and cost of living might seem overwhelming, but there's generous financial aid, so don't be intimidated to chase your dreams and apply out of state. To learn more about New York University, visit nyu.edu. From Times Square, New York, I'm Rachel Wong, reporting with Roar TV. 
As juniors, we understand how stressful and scary the college search can be, not to mention those dreaded college essays. We hope this episode helped to better prepare you for the world outside of high school. Whether you stay local, study abroad, or take on an exciting major right here at Florida Polytechnic, college is a time for education, career preparation, and of course, lots of adventure. Seniors, good luck filling out those applications. And juniors, it's coming closer than we think. Underclassmen, you've still got some time left, but it's never too early to start considering your options. Thanks for joining us. For Roar TV, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Katie. 